laughing about it last night. It's been since the junior year, you know, going to colleges, visiting colleges, trying to decide, you know, what would be the best fit for him. The college selection process was pretty exciting. Ten actually looked at about 13 or 14 schools. Awesome. I saw a ton of schools. I went all over California. I didn't apply to any Something California schools. Different. Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Maggie. And we're from Orange County, California. Look at this traffic! My name's Christiana Jacobson. I am from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I went to a really, really small private school, so I only had 49 kids in my graduating class. I like culture. I like uh, music and art and things like that. You just don't really have a lot of that in Silicon Valley. I was just ready to um, meet new people and be in a big city. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm really excited to be here in Boston. I look forward to the change in leaves and the snow and four seasons to get used to. Bye, California. That's why I brought so much stuff because I don't even know what's appropriate to wear here. So I'm at the airport and I have six suitcases with my life. Okay, and they're all over 50 pounds. This is from California, but... My mother's Spanish. I spent time in both countries. I'm really comfortable being in different places. I don't mind being far from home. My heritage uh, is actually Cuban-American, um, so I bring a little bit of Latin flavor, I guess, <laughs> to the Northeastern community. I really always support my country, no matter where I go. I always represent Jamaica as best as I can. I've lived in Egypt my whole life. Living here, I think it's going to be very different, uh, especially with new people I've never met and people that I'm going to have to get really close to, you know, your roommate. He's actually a, uh, a quarter Egyptian. My dad's family comes from Canada, and specifically the province of Quebec, and my mom's family comes from the Middle East. He speaks French sometimes, and I do a bit of French, so we have some Arabic conversations. I speak Arabic and Arabic, and I Arabic, so that's always useful. Um, well, we talked a lot on Facebook, sending messages and stuff like that to kind of get to know each other. What else? I have some um, like sticky dots that you can write on. Megan just seemed really nice. I looked at some of her pictures, she seemed normal, so I was pleased. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Emily's dad. Jim, Emily's dad. Dad. how are you? It's too nice to meet you. You as well. At one point in life, you have to start doing things like that. You're going to be on your own. And hopefully, I think uh, I did a good job and you did a good job. And they will take it from there. I'm really excited for her to branch out on her own and um, gain a bit more independence than she's had. Wow, Mom, look at this. I've got these mixed emotions. I'm really happy for her and excited for her. I can't believe she's going to be so far away from home now. It's not easy when you know that if within a couple of days somebody's going to be meeting at the house. That's hard. Life as uh, we know it is, it will never be the same. I know my house is going to be very quiet. He's the first. The first to leave the house. You know, totally. He's my only child and uh, I'm just, I, I'm sure it's going to be a lot different. All right. Now that one begins trying to decide where to put everything, he's going to start the, a great chapter of his life in a, at a wonderful school, and you know, the sky's the limit. Quite honestly, I'm very happy for him. Uh, I'm jealous, in a way. It's certainly an opportunity that I never had when I was his age. I want Tim to find her voice and to be true to herself. I know she will go follow her dreams, and this is a great opportunity, so. Advantage. It's about maximizing each and every minute and making the most of, you know, uh, the co-op experience and the friends you'll meet and just, you know, enjoying every single minute of it.